Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be taking our big blended family, including all five of our kids, up to the top of the arch in St. Louis. If you've never been before, and especially if you've never been with kids, you're going to want to watch this. When you get downtown, you are going to have to find parking because the arch does not have its own parking lot. There are some metered spots that are pretty close and there are several parking garages. Be sure to check out their website. They do give a list of different options for that. During this particular visit, we parked in the Keener East parking garage, and it was just a couple of blocks to walk down to the arch grounds from there. This is what the entrance looks like if you're going to go into the free museum or if you're going to go up to the top of the arch. They also have an arch grounds where you can just walk around the bottom of the arch. You can touch the arch, get right underneath it. It's really cool. We're going to do that later on in the video, so stick around for that. But we had to hurry up and get inside because our tram tickets were for 1 o'clock that would take us up to the top. And if you bought your tickets online like we did, which I also highly recommend, you're gonna wanna make sure you get there early to be able to go through security and have all the kids use the bathroom because there's no bathrooms at the top, so you're gonna wanna get that out of the way before you go up. Wait, what's gonna happen after the, wait, are those It's gonna launch you to the top. <gasps> <No>. <laughs> Slowly, slow, it doesn't go super fast. You don't have to have a ticket to go through security, but you do have to go through security just to get into the free museum. Be sure to pack light. They also list everything that's prohibited on their website, so be sure to check that out so that there are no surprises when you get there. It's very similar to going through airport security. Once you get through security, you're going to find yourself in the museum. This is completely free. You do not have to go to the top of the arch to be able to go through the museum. And it's actually a really cool little museum. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you plan time in your visit to check out all the exhibits that they have there. It was a really neat museum experience. It takes you from the 1840s all the way up to the 1960s when the arch was built in St. Louis. We really liked the layout and the idea behind the museum, showing you exactly the role that St. Louis played when it came to westward expansion and the expansion of the railway out west and how St. Louis became known as the gateway to the west. There are a lot of hands-on things that the kids really enjoyed, a good learning opportunity about the history of our community and just our nation in general. On the other side of the museum is where you'll find the two entrances to go up to the top of the arch and you will also find a cafe area and a gift shop. There are several things to know if you are planning to go to the top of the arch. One is it's not fully accessible, so be sure to check out their website. You can't have a stroller or wheelchair or anything like that to be able to go up to the top. You have to be able to go up and down flights of stairs. They do explain more about that on the website. The other is that each car only holds up to five people. So if you're going in a large group, it's likely that you're gonna be split up into multiple cars. So keep that in mind. The other thing that I want to note, especially for parents that are bringing their children, is there's a lot of waiting. So if you have kids that struggle with being able to wait, then you're gonna to want to prepare them for that or possibly visit at one of their off-peak times. This gives you a good idea of what those doors look like to get inside the tram car, but don't worry, my husband is 6'2", and he had no problem. Wow, that is four minutes up. Wait, how does it feel? Are you leaving? Wait, we're going in public. All inside. Wait, what about the Straight up the side. 
And this is what it looks like inside the top of the arch. It was so cool to see the kids' reactions when we got up to the top. And fun fact, these tiny little windows at the top, my boy's great-grandfather on their dad's side actually helped put them in. Holy cow, guys, that's a lot. Ship works. Whoa. I know. Isn't this? Guys, don't look down. Once you're at the top, you can stay as long as you like. You can take videos or photos, and these slanted edges make it really easy for the kiddos to climb up there and get a good view out the windows. Do keep in mind that whenever you are ready to leave, you're going to have to stand in line to be able to go back down on the tram cars. So we just kind of got a spot in line and let the kids continue to look out the windows while we waited. What do you think? I like it. You like being an arch? Yeah. <laughs> Once you're finished on the inside of the arch, don't forget to go back outside and check out what it's like to be right underneath the arch. That's part of the experience you cannot miss. Here we are. Right up under the arch. Such a nice day. Oh my gosh. The kids loved being able to run right up and touch the base of the arch. The adults really liked to be able to sit on the stairs in front of the arch, and we had a really beautiful view of the Mississippi River. It was a gorgeous day when we were there. Because most of the parking options are really close to the old courthouse, I highly recommend that on your way out or on your way in to visit the arch that you stop by the old courthouse. It's that big building with the green dome at the top. You cannot miss it. A lot of history happened in this building, including the Dred and Harriet Scott case where they fought for their freedom. Virginia Miners case for the women's right to vote happened here in the 1870s. It's just a really neat building and I highly recommend that you take the time and stop by while you're in the area. My husband and I really enjoy taking our kids new places, letting them have new experiences, new learning opportunities. Anywhere you go, no matter what city or state you live in, there's always something that you can learn about your community and the history of our country, wherever you are. Just take the time to show that to your kids, open their eyes a little bit, and it makes the world a better place. I thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps small channels like mine to grow. And be sure to subscribe. I post a new video every single week with all of our big family adventures. I hope to see you guys again soon. It takes four minutes to get to the top and three minutes down. So we'll be going fast.